All right, I'm going to be uh, working on this guy, this lady. I'm going to redo her as a full figure sitting on the ground and uh, I'm going to put up a picture here of what I'm thinking of doing. I took this photo of a uh, Crow Indian woman who uh, was dressed as a Cheyenne woman back in 2007 I think it was uh, and uh, I was thinking about this over the last couple of days of what I would do next and I like this piece I just don't like her head and hair face yet um, but I want to do something different and I want to do it a full figure and so that was what I was thinking of doing so I'm gonna see if I can and I'll be right back with more time to play with some clay I gotta take this off the base first. This is a wood base. If you remember correctly from when I started this piece weeks ago. I can't remember when I started this thing. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to do this without wrecking everything. Well, I'm going to have to take this clay off, I think. That's a waste. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that all anyway. Over again. So I might as well start now. I'm not worried about destroying the lower part of this thing because it's all going to be re-sculpted anyway. I just need to be able to take her off the uh, base. Boy, that's a lot of clay I used on this thing. All right, I got two wooden dowels that I stuck a bit on, up into her that held her onto the uh, base. And uh, I gotta cut those so I can get her off the base. All right, I've got uh, a foam piece that I'm going to put down to protect her and uh, now I'm going to start working on the lower half of her body. I'll come back when I get to a point where I can show you what I'm doing. Alright, I'm going to go put this aside and uh, get busy here. Okay, I'm going to Put down a little piece of board to go under her and I'm gonna drive this screw down into the uh, board below to anchor it Much better to start a hole first. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna drill a hole. Now 
I may need to make this two heads tall. Where's my calipers? I got the head measurements already worked out. And I'm going to go up one head. Let me uh, get my marker from how far into the piece of wood it is. And two heads. And I'm going to have to cut this probably about there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I've got these uh, long shanked wire cutters, which really works out well. That gives me a sharp end. I'm going to take some sandpaper. If I can find my sandpaper, there it is. And uh, take off the rough areas of the sharp end so that it'll go into the uh, clay smoothly. Uh, I'm going to put some glue into that hole and uh, sink it down into it. All right, I repositioned her on the stick. I pulled her off and put her back down onto the stick. I leaned her forward just a little bit and a little bit to a tilt here. And uh, that's so that I can position her hips like this. This side up and this side down. Okay. I went ahead and made some temporary legs out of aluminum foil, bunched up. And I worked out the proportion for the knees and the, I mean, the length of the legs and everything to match her head length, which is uh, how you measure proportions. And I, I think it looks good. It gives me a chance to to see how it's going to work. I'm going to run a couple of screws into the uh, clay to anchor the leg where it is. So anyway, I'm going to continue adding clay to her body. I lowered her down just a little bit more to match the uh, photograph that I've got of her, or photograph of the model. I'm going to probably raise the elbow of uh, this uh, arm quite a bit. i got to redo that hand. It doesn't uh, quite fit uh, her proportions. I had a young girl at the uh, dollar store store pose with her hands like this, and it helped me a lot. The local dollar store here. I'm going to redo the dress a little bit too. I need another screw down in here, and I'll do that tomorrow. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for tonight, and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.